In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a rundown timer in CapCut, which you can use in your videos. Creating a three second rundown timer is really easy because you can just use a template sticker inside of CapCut. But if you wanna create a rundown timer, which is more than three seconds long, then we have a little more work to do. But don't worry, I'll guide you every step. Open your CapCut app on your desktop and import the background. In my case, I'm going to use my own background, which is black paper video. To pull it down to the timeline, you just need to click this plus icon or just drag it down. You can also use the stock black video, which you can find when you go up to the left corner and click media, library and choose the second black one. Next click on the text in the upper left corner and click on the default text and change the text to the number 10 if you'll do the round down of 10 seconds. Now change the font to something more bold, I'm going to use ZY Bless font. Highlight the text on the timeline and drag it to the 1 second mark which you can see here on the timer. Let's stretch the timeline a little bit. Now go up to the stickers icon and search for the timer like you see it here on the video. Then just pull it down to the timeline. Now pull the playhead where the text ends, then highlight the timer and click on the cut icon so we cut it on the same spot where the text ends. We can then delete the right part. Go back a little bit, click on the timer, right click and click create a compound clip. With timer selected, go up to the right corner and click mask and choose circle. Then click on this little reverse icon. Now shrink the mask a little bit so we can see the circle from the timer. And then if you need, reposition the number so it's really in the center. Now click on the text and make it a little bit bigger then scroll down and turn the opacity to around 75. Then with text highlighted, go up to the right corner and click on animation. Scroll down and choose mini zoom animation. Then highlight the timer and move the playhead to the end of the clip. Now click on Ctrl C or Command C to copy it. We have to repeat the process 10 times because we have a timer for 10 seconds. Now we also have to do the same for the text, but in our case for the numbers. Now what we need to do is change numbers from 1 till 10. So let's start from the right side to the left side. Put the number 1 to the last bracket and continue to the left side till you reach the number 10. I will add one more timer with the number 0 at the end. So let's check what we did till now. Looks pretty good, but I think we need some sound effects. Let's add the beep for every second. Click on audio and sound effects. Let's search for the beeps and try this first one. Yeah, this one will be fine. Let's drag it to the timeline. And now we will use just one beep, so everything else we can delete. Just drag the handles to the beginning of the beep from one side and also from the other. Now drag the playhead to the end of the first second so we can align the beep. Now do that for every second, copy and pasting the beep. Now for the last second we will add the longer beep. Now we will use the same sound effect, but we will just keep the last part which is a longer beep. Just drag the handle to the last part and move it to the last second. For the last part we will add some stock video. Let's go up to the media and import the stock video, which you can get on websites like Pixels or Mixkit. Of course, you can also use your own video. 
Now drag the video to your timeline and we will add some transition between the last second and stock video. Go out to transition icon and choose black fade in transition. Just drag it down and place it between the clips. The last thing we will do, we will add some music background for the video. I will add music which I previously downloaded from Epidemic Sound. Let's drag it down to the timeline and place it to the point where video starts. The last thing we need to do is drag those little handles for the fade in sound and we are done. Let's see the result.